so the first performance numbers as well as benchmark results for the all new Nvidia RTX GPUs have started to leak and some gameplay videos have made it public as well in this video guys we're gonna take a look at this let's go hey how's it going guys Robin here on chips media bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel you'll find PC components take gadgets and console accessories as well as product reviews and unboxing so if you're interested in that consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything special now i should say before we dive into this video that i'm going to cover the rtx 2080 launch as it unfolds now i have already pre-ordered a graphics card and i will be covering every possible question you guys might have regarding the all new rtx gpu lineup now that being said do i believe that you should pre-order a thousand dollar graphics card <laughs> definitely not you should wait for real benchmark numbers before you make a final decision here guys anyway the first rtx 2080 fps numbers results whatever you want to call it are in and the first one is actually coming from the green team and nvidia themselves now take a look at this guys up until recently we haven't heard nvidia say anything regarding frame rates on these new gpus so that started to raise the question whether there was something fishy going on that perhaps these all new cards aren't so powerful and awesome as nvidia claims them to be remember guys they held a press event a few days ago where the CEO of the company spent well over an hour talking about the all new revolutionary ray tracing technology and deep learning features features that comes with the all new touring architecture but they refused to say a single words in regards to what to expect in terms of frame rate in games until now and as you can see guys we're looking at a lineup of one two three ten games in total uh, in this case ten pretty popular games according to nvidia we are looking at rtx 2080 performance compared to the older gtx 1080 now a few things to keep in mind here now these are titles nvidia have selected specifically probably most definitely because they perform particularly good with the rtx 2080 and this is very important to understand some games definitely perform worse than others some games that never made it to the list that nvidia decided not to include for obvious reasons that being said however in several gaming titles we're seeing up to twice the performance increase in terms of frames per second which is really really interesting now could nvidia be making up these results now i wouldn't say that is the case but let's not forget these sleek shiny as bars doesn't say a word in what specific scenario the rtx 2080 beats the gtx 1080 with 50 percent so it could be anything like for example 50% could mean from 20 to 30 fps for example a 10 fps increase now that wouldn't be too exciting now would it now in regards to these 50% increase numbers if we take a look at the last generation numbers for a second the jump between the gtx 980 and the gtx 1080 were about 60 to 70 percent that means that this 50 percent increase number isn't as exciting as nvidia wants us to think after all now if you want to get to know the rtx platform better guys i actually made a separate video covering the new features coming with the all new gpu line lineup i'll link that video down below for you now why do nvidia showing these results now why didn't they do it on the press event a few days ago i'm just speculating now i sort of think that they thought that they could get away with not posting any sort of benchmarks whatsoever but as rumors starting to arise and people starting to say that there's something wrong here why aren't we seeing any benchmarks whatsoever nvidia then decided to show us some proof because they obviously want people to pre-order as many cards as possible now thankfully most people aren't that stupid that they pre-order a card from the get-go except of me which 
we definitely shouldn't talk about here. Anyway, let me explain the short for you guys super quick. If you take a peek at the upper right hand side corner, you see 1080 which is green, you got dark green which represents 2080 and you got light green that represents 2080 plus something called DLSS. Now what the shizzle is DLSS then? DLSS is NVIDIA's new deep learning super sampling which is a technology that applies deep learning and AI to rendering techniques resulting in crisper smooth edges on rendering rendered object in games. The new Turing architecture is known to be particularly good in this kind of scenarios. So again, we're looking at the old Pascal, the old GTX 1080 in 4K resolution or ultra high definition and same graphics presets here, same level of details. In this case, we're looking at an increase of about 35 to even 60% increase depending on which game title we're looking at. There is another one. According to Nvidia showing that the impossible now is indeed possible 4k HDR in 60 Hertz these are the frame rate we should expect right out of the box as Nvidia states here that being said they're not saying a single word what settings they were using and how they measured these frame rates for example we had 60 fps in battlefield 2 is that the highest recorded number the average number Number, or even the lowest recording number we don't even know that we have no idea i would assume that it would mean average number right but in this case i wouldn't take that for granted at all not in this case because nvidia they want to sell graphics card that's basically all they want to do now let's take battlefield 1 for example now on the older pascal graphics cards you are able to achieve between 40 to 45 frames average with an nvidia 1080 at 4k with everything maxed out as of right now but again we don't know anything about how nvidia measured and came up with these numbers so you should definitely take these numbers with a grain of salt still at least they gave us an idea how these new gpus might perform now with all numbers in mind it's quite interesting that in terms of specs the difference on paper aren't much to brag about in terms of gigaflops we're only seeing an increase of 13.5 percent increase on the rtx 2080 now it is important guys to keep in mind that the new touring architecture is a lot different from how the older pascal works which as you can see makes it hard to calculate the performance just by looking at cuda cores and gigaflops numbers and we Nvidia is whoever claiming that the RTX 2080 is double the performance of a GTX 1080 card and a big part of it is once again DLSS deep learning super sampling which is a development of TAA or temporal anti-aliasing which basically makes edges less edgy and smoother. Nvidia is also talking about Ansel which gets support for ray tracing with RTX 20,000 series. All this being said guys we've seen threads pop up on the net where people have been speculating that these new cars aren't so good as Nvidia claims. The Tom Raider ray tracing demo for example well, was only captured in 1080p. In that scenario the RTX card was struggling to even managing staying above 30 fps another example is the battlefield 5 ray tracing tech demo again captured in 60 fps 1080p resolution something is definitely not right here now it could very much be that the games aren't 100 ready for ray tracing yet and that the game developers still are working on sorting everything out we don't know for sure now the bottom line is we need independent tests what do you have to say about this is the rtx series a warm welcome to the gaming community now i want to know guys are you excited for a ray 
ray tracing. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. Again, I am going to cover every details of these new GPUs, guys. I got you covered. In the end of the day, it's not the performance that is the problem here. It is the price. Nvidia is asking way too much for these new graphics cards. Anyway, I want to know what you guys have to say. Until next time, have an awesome day. Alright, guys. Bye.